right of you is called Vulture Island. This is due to the high percentage of vultures. that in our gift yeah. shop. <laughs> yeah. 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 So those are some things that you can do if you're out in the Everglades. Also, I like to the look at the water. You see how it's that, that uh, like mucky color? Does anybody know what the number one agriculture product is in Florida? Oranges? You would think oranges, but it's actually sugar, sugar cane. Uh, so what happens is the sugar cane factory is actually use this water for the factory, pump it through, and then recycle it into the Everglades causing it to be this color. If you ever were stuck out here and you had to drink the water, you would taste that it's a little sugary. Mm. Uh, mm. So that's number. That's that's a cool little fact. <laughs> and also this, the, these um, canals were built in the 1930s by the Army Corps of Engineers. They actually dug hundreds and hundreds of miles of canals. So, so you can, when I say that this is six feet deep, you can look at, at the depth of the water. So this is six feet and then it drops to 20 feet because that's how far they dug the canals. Like and they feet deep. dammed it and flooded it? Yeah, that's what yeah. those pump houses yeah. are for. So those pump houses can pump out on three million gallons of water every hour. I think they're stealing your food, huh? Yeah, because you teach them. I don't teach them anything. It's like the fight with the birds. The fight for survivor. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Hello, pretty bird. They're very intelligent, um, and just like people, just like your cats and dogs, they have different temperaments and they have different personalities as well. So this is Godzilla, as you can see, he's like nine feet long. Um, I can lay on this alligator, I can sit on him, I can pet him, I can touch the side of his face, I can touch his eyes, I can actually kiss this alligator on his nose. Now just because I can do this and he's not actively trying to kill me, um, does that mean that we are friends and that he loves me? No. So there is no friendship here. There is no bond. I love all the alligators. They do not feel the same way about me. Um, if I trip and I fall, if I make a mistake, if my hand goes in the wrong spot, uh, if I hurt the animal, every single one of these guys absolutely can and will bite. This alligator bit my boss in the head. So they are not tame. Yeah. Bandit also bit my boss in the head. And uh, Zeus right there bit my boss in the foot two weeks ago. My boss gets bit a lot. <laughs> but uh, they're not tame. They are not puppy dogs. They are not pets. They are alligators, but they're very habituated alligators, so this is, you know, pretty much what they do. 
I know. It's your turn. <laughs> I know. I know. Come on. Excuse me, Swamp Thing. Like alligator Tetris. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you can stay there. You're fine. Come on, Matt. In the water. Let's do it. It's your turn to do a show. You don't pay rent. This is the trade-off. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, Bandit, I'm stepping over. Now, her tail is actually solid muscle, so when I pull her out, it isn't going to hurt her or anything like that. Uh, but if she whacks me with that tail, she could do some serious damage to me. She's about 150 pounds, by the way. Does weigh more than I do. And as you guys can see, she's thrilled to do the show for you. <laughs> Stumpy, you're on the way too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what alligator wrestling is, it's based off of techniques that the Seminoles used back in the day when they would go out and capture alligators. Now, in the 1800s, if you're a Seminole warrior, you're going out and you're catching alligators to feed your family. Now, the alligator meat spoils very quickly in the hot Florida sun. Obviously, no forms of refrigeration. So you want to catch the animal and bring it back to your house alive. So I go, I'm on her back, I have her jaws, and I'm by myself. I have nobody to help me. So now I need to come up with a way to hold her jaws shut, freeing up both of my hands, allowing me to use my hands to take out a rope and tie the jaws together. What they came up with is now we refer to as bulldogging. It's holding the jaws shut by putting them in between your chin and your chest. Putting all those teeth up against the throat. If you guys want a picture, wait until both of my arms go out to the side. Uh, or if you see a spray of blood, switch the video, whichever comes first at this point. <laughs> Pictures quickly. <laughs> so get a rope, couple of half time, and you have yourself a contact alligator. Oh, all right. Now, uh, judging by the complete lack of applause, I'm just gonna say, guys, you're in shock. <laughs> we'll go shock. It's cool. All right. We'll step up in a few seconds. Uh, right now, I'm going to point out a couple of the alligator features. So, like I said before, her eyes sit on top of her head. Those eyes are very well protected, physically impossible for you to gouge your eyes out. You cannot do it. Anything threatens them, they immediately drop to the bottom a very deep five seconds out of the way of harm. Um, they also have thick, leathery top eyelids, bottom eyelids like we have, and she has the third eyelid. It's called the nicked titting membrane. I'm going to show you guys on this side first. So, if you take a look at her eye, Little transparent lens that you may be able to see in just a second uh, that moves from side to side. There we go. So that brushes away dirt and debris from the alligator's eye and also acts as a pair of goggles when she's underwater. Now behind the eyes, the little flaps on either side of her head, those are her ears. And even with those cute, adorable little ears, they hear just about as well as we do on land. And they hear even better than us when they're under the water. Now the two holes on the top of her face, those are her nostrils. Those are actually muscular. So gators have abilities, uh, the ability to flex those off and seal them shut when they're swimming. Thank you to the alligator. She did a great job. You're free to go. Very good. I just like how he keeps his mouth open. Alright, let's take our pictures. <laughs> 